Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? This is Balsa Thalsa Energy. This is your late night energy reading. How's everyone doing? I love you guys. Thank you so much for your beautiful support. Thank you for your like and sharing my content. To new viewers, cross watchers, come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. We're going to get started, Aries. Let's see. Let's see what's in your energy, okay? Let's definitely see what's going on in your energy. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Divine Universe. As you come into this reading, give me clarity, understanding. Most of all, I ask you for protection. Any evil eye, evil in, any evil intentions coming towards me, I ask you to rebuke it, send it back to sender. All right. So, let's see. Spirit Guides, this is for Aries. This is for Aries. What is the message you have for Aries? Oh. Magician in the reverse. Manipulation. Queen of Cups. Hmm. Page of Cups. Five of Swords. So Aries, you're definitely defensive. You're protecting your heart, your territory from some player. From someone that's not been emotional available to you. You're definitely defending yourself. You're healed from this person, okay? Um, I feel like this person had you in a third-party situation. Well, let me tell you what's going on. This person is trying to rush back into your life, okay? Uh, I feel like you got the Eight of Pentacles here. Like, you're minding your business. You're focused on your work. You're focused focus on your job. Or this person is going to come out of nowhere when you're not paying attention, you have the magician. This person may be coming in to manipulate you in some type of way. They still like you. They still um, look at your photos, look at you. They want to express themselves to you. But the problem is, is that this person always uh, was around a lot of negative energy people. Okay. This person wants to follow their heart and come towards you. But see, you done healed from this person and you're blocking. Okay. Because it's like when you wanted, wanted them to express their feelings and wanted them to show emotions. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, very heavy. It could be a fire sign as well. Okay, it could be an air sign. I see all signs except but um, Earth. So this person's trying to rush back into your energy. Okay, oof, trying to rush back. Uh, like they'd like jumping in the car. And now they want to come back. And pretend. I feel like when I see the um, the magician card in reverse, that's manipulation. It's like they're just trying to do whatever they can do to get you back in their energy. And they're going to work hard on it. Okay? They're going to work very hard at getting your attention again. Okay? But this person is a page of wands. This is someone that was very immature. Okay? This person could have been younger than you or you were younger than them, but they're very immature, very childish. I feel like this person only is trying to come back in your energy areas because they beef jerky is hard or they peaches is, is you know, is, is uh, popping, however you want to say it. Okay? That's why they're trying to get your energy back and they're going to manipulate you in some kind of way. Uh, but they're still in a negative energy. You got the five of swords. They still listen to negative people. They still in that type of energy. But you have healed from this person. Okay, yeah, I feel like you're blocked from this person. So don't be surprised. Okay, Aries, this is you. Don't be surprised. It took you some time to, um, because this person was holding a lot of secrets. It took you some time to heal from this person because of how they treated you. Now they're rushing in. He's rushing in. She's rushing in uh, very fast because they don't want to you to take their energy from them. They're getting ready to send your message within the next couple of weeks. Okay. Uh, and it's because they, they, it's bad enough when only thing this person wanted was sex. They were definitely disconnected with their feelings and they got a nerve to rush back in. But see, it hurts you because you put feelings into this. And but you did a lot of healing. It took some time because this person held a lot of secrets. OK, could be a Council Scorpio Pisces that held a lot of secrets. 
uh, and you're blocked from this person and, or it could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius that hurts your heart and you have you're protecting your heart and your territories. What spirit guides is telling you that this person is coming back to manipulate you in some kind of way. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Why is Cancer Scorpio Pisces so heavy in my readings tonight? Very, very heavy in my readings tonight. That's why I said I'm going to do a reading on Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This, this is very heavy in my reading. Where they're coming in and manipulating you, they want to express to you maybe that they still that they always loved you, care about you, you tripping, you thought that they didn't care, when they just lying. Even though the Seven of Swords is not here, I just feel it in the energy that they're just trying to do that because they want some more, some more of your peach pie. Or your, uh, yeah, yeah, your beef jerky. They want some more of it. And so they're trying to rush back and get your energy. Okay? And, uh, yeah, you got the world card in the reverse. They don't want this, don't, they don't want you to shut the door on them. They don't want this cycle to end, Aries. Okay? Hey, look at here. I told you. The seven of swords, didn't I say? I say, even though the seven of swords is not out here, I say, but I feel like they're lying. They're still lying. They just want what they want. And they're not emotional. If they saying that, oh, you know, I have feelings for you. Oh, you know, I love you. Yeah, they might have been, they saying it over here, but they manipulating you. Look at that. Because right here, it says that they are the king of cups in the reverse. They don't have no emotions for you. They just want, they just want uh, you. Yeah, they just stuck on the sex. Okay, they stuck on y'all history of sex. Okay, so they're coming back for the wrong reason. Well, it's right to them, but I feel like you have healed. I don't feel like you're going to fall for it. Yeah, I don't feel like it. You got tired of that BS. See, they're coming back with this sob, sob story. You got the uh, five of cups in the reverse, which is they regret. I'm regret. I'm sorry, but you say you ain't tired. You, it's like you hearing them. You hear what they say. It's like you're going to hear them out. But you're, you're not taking, you're not believing that bull crap. You're not believing that bull crap. You let go of that anxiety. You moved away from this. I feel like some of you moved towards a king. After you, after you got over this person, you moved towards a, a king. This person's been in isolation. Yeah, I feel like you moved towards somebody that is in low, you in a long, longevity relationship now. So don't be surprised that this person pops up out of your life, out of nowhere, call you either that or you bump into them or whatever it is. But see, they don't know that you, you, you in the 10 of Pentacles. You just met somebody that is beautiful, got a lot going for himself, herself, got money, showing you emotions. You moved away from this Gemini Libra Aquarius right into a king that has it all. That's offering longevity with you, everything with you. Okay. But they're trying to rush because they're in isolation. But you're blocked. Told you they little wee wee. Didn't I tell you they little wee wee? It's the passion. Look, look, look. Needy, look, look. Look at here. Needy. Look at here. The queen of wands in reverse is needy. Attention. They want attention. They need it. Look, they're thinking about it. And when they lay there thinking about it, they little wee wee. They little wee wee. Yeah. Uh-huh. They in isolation. Somehow they can't they can't move. Maybe they're in the bed or something. Okay. They got the chariot in reverse. They have been delayed. They vulnerable. You see that? They vulnerable. But it's, it, it don't matter. It does not matter because you are you're you're on the right path. You're going on with your life. You're destined who you with now. That's who you supposedly be with. Some of you are about to come into your your uh, 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 a king is about to approach your life if he isn't already in your life. This person is coming in for longevity. OK, you and this next person, this person that you're with. Let me hold this up. Or this person that you're with, y'all are meant to be together. OK. And this person just they thought they was going to try to uh, come in your life. But see, they were delayed. So the, the, the spirit, the universe say, no, you're not. You take your little your little wee wee and you uh, lay in that bed and work it out or go to somebody else because uh, you you don't you don't have access to her or to him anymore, period. And so they you know look at that they're in the shadows, in the shadows thinking about you, Aries. Yeah, they're in the shadows. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they're not happy. Look at here, look at here. They go your ex if you've been with me a long time, A.K.A. As known as this person is very logical. They don't put emotions and that's what this person was emotion disconnected from you and they're not happy, but they can't offer you anything. 
They're not offering you no type of commitment. See, you have healed. Now this person is getting impatient. You got the temperance in reverse. They impatient because uh, you're not taking a leap of faith with them no more. Look at that. You moving on. You the empress. You're not on that level. Your vibration is much higher and you are attracting a king as you are, you're with somebody. Some of you are with somebody good that you're going to be with uh, uh, for life. You have released this person. You done healed. Look here. You don't release the, a Capricorn or a two to see a Gemini. You release that person out of your energy. Justice is in your favor. They're going through their karma. See, they, they fiending for you. They, they trying to rush towards you, but see, they was rushing towards you, but the chariot it's like they was on their way. Right. But he got a chariot that came out in reverse. The car must've broke down. Something must've happened. See, they was on their way, but see that I feel like the universe, God divine stopped them in their tracks. They was on their way. Whew. They were getting it. They was galloping, galloping, galloping. Then something came up, something happened and they was delayed. Something put a stop to this rush. So they couldn't, they can't come towards you. This is karma kicking their butts. They going through karma. Okay. That's what they, that's what's happening. They're missing your energy. They're going to having big regrets. And they're going through their karma. Justice is in your favor. Good luck. Good karma coming to you. You meeting the king of your life. You the empress. You, some of you already met uh, the king of your life. Uh, the queen of your life. But y'all are destined. Okay. This is longevity. This is the person. This new person is who you're going to marry. But this person is going through their karma. Period. They're stuck. They're stuck. They're stuck. Because the look. They will break. They bread, breadcrumbed you. They only came in and out your life. Only came in to get what they wanted. Their little, they little, uh, uh, little beef jerky, or the peaches came in what they wanted. They only come around and wanted money or gave you whatever. But see, now you're successful. You're operating from a high vibration, very high vibration. Mm. And look, all they can do is watch you. That's all he or she can do is watch you because they, you are happy there. <laughs> yep. They got to watch you be happy, baby. Look here. Judgment, judgment. Yep. Judgment is on them. Judgment is hitting them, baby. Judgment is hitting them. Yeah, buddy. They are definitely getting, they reaping what the heck they sow. You cut this person out your, out your life. Yeah. No connection with this person. Mm -mm. No connection, no future. Or anything with this person. A lot of energy in here. You got good offers, new offers, new promotions, abundance. Uh, someone, a uh, king, get ready to come towards you. That's going to uh, ask you out on a date. Whoo, that's a lot of energy. Let's see what Spirit Guys is talking about with your fortune oracle deck. With my fortune oracle deck. Let's see what Spirit Guys is saying. Thank you. Okay, Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. Okay, some of you with this Ten of Pentacles that came out, the spirit guys want me to go back to some of you about to come into some type of windfall, some money, abundance. Okay, longevity. Okay, inheritance, um, payout, whatever that can mean in your life, gambling, uh, lottery, whatever. But you, crisis is over. You're about to. Some of you about to hit it very big. Look here, abundance. Spirit guy told me to pull from the top of the deck. You getting ready, somebody be getting ready to come in and a large amount of windfall of blessings is coming into your life. OK, uh, some of you. Yeah, somebody is abundance can mean in all areas. That means happiness, peace. You finally at peace, that happiness, longevity, love, you know, uh, good things, good offerings, blessings that it, it can mean all varieties, wide varieties of happiness, abundance in your life. OK. It's definitely you deserve this because you went through a lot with this person over here and their energy. It says lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success and prosperity. You got so much coming towards you that you deserve. This is the justice. OK, this is the justice. This is good karma coming towards you, Aries. Uh, you got a king coming. You ain't got to be having, you're not going to have anxiety anymore. Worryation. Okay. Where did that card go? You got the justice fail here. I don't know where it went to. You got abundance. Okay. Justice is in your favor. This person is going through their karma as we speak. You reap what you sow. 
Your wish is at the bottom of the deck as well, Aries. It says your heart's desire is ready to come true. You have so much coming that you have wished and prayed for, for a good man, for a good woman. Well, it is about to come or if he's in your life, he's here. Uh, it is uh, it is going to happen. It is your wish. It is your wish. OK, it is coming to fruition very, very soon. Spirit guys, any other message for Aries? Any other message? Thank you for Aries. Unity. Okay. Yeah, you and this person are going to have a beautiful, beautiful life together. Okay. A time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You're radiant. You radiant and attract great love. So you're attracting all types of love. All types of love in your life. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Aries. My, 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 my. Mm, mm, mm. And at the bottom of this deck is beauty. It says, may you perceive nature's artistry. Artistry. Afresh. How you look at the world. The beauty, how you see things. May you perceive it. How you see. This is beautiful. Very beautiful. And the bottom of this deck is self-realization. And up under that is manifestation. And up under that is connection. So this person that's in your life that just recently came into your life or this person that's about to come into your life, there is definitely someone that you manifested and you are definitely are connected. You are divinely connected to each other. You. Yeah, that part right there. Look at here. Self-realization, realizing that you deserve better and you went for it, baby. And you got the new dawn is here. It's your time. It is your time. Aries, it's your time. You are reaping so much good things and it is destined for you, including the man, the woman of your dreams. Not only that, but the manifestation of your heart's desire. I am positive thoughts and energy. Good karma is coming your way. Until next time.